choline is known to increase your serum potassium by approximately 0.5 in most patients. There are some conditions that predispose patients to a more significant increase in serum potassium. The pathophysiology is thought to be upregulation of extra junctional receptors. This can lead to cardiac dysrhythmias and arrest, which can be fatal, of course. Notably, this is not prevented by a defasciculating dose of a non depolarizing neuromuscular blocker. The predisposing conditions are as follows spinal cord injuries. The potassium released correlates with the extent of the motor deficit. The risk begins at 48 hours after the injury and peaks at four weeks to five months. Neuromuscular disorders like Guillain Barre, ALS, MS, Friedrich ataxia, as well as Duchenne and Becker muscular dystrophy. And for this reason, you want to avoid succinylcholine in kids who might not yet be diagnosed with these muscular dystrophies. Stroke, the risk starts at 24 hours and can last months. Major trauma like crush injuries, extensive burns, greater than 10% total body surface area, you want to avoid sucks from 24 hours to one year. Prolonged immobility, the risk significantly increases after 16 days. Notably, in patients that have chronic kidney disease with normokalemia, it does not predispose them to severe increase in serum potassium. So succinylcholine should be safe for use.